Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. My name is Nikita Antoine and today we'll be doing a message for you Leo. Um, as always, all of my readings are timeless, so when the message finds you and resonates, then it is yours at the time in which you find it. So, Leo, I have done your spread today with the Ethereal Visions Tarot, the Dreamscape Oracle, and the Luna Tarot, all by Matt Hughes, all for you, Leo. <laughs> I'm feeling very spunky <laughs> and excited, but it's really weird. It's like I'm, I'm pulling your cards and just everything feels boring. I don't know why, like every, like the spread is boring. I, so I, I scrapped it. I pulled out another spread. It was just like, so, I don't know. Everything is feeling a little bit lackluster unfulfilled, unfulfilling. <laughs> I want excitement. <laughs> and I think that that's what, I think that's the energy that you are experiencing, Leo, is that you're craving excitement. You're craving something, I don't know, like something just to new to like pop up on your path um, that will, you know, take you into a world of, I don't know, joy, magical, magical things. So, it does seem like something is trying to be revealed to you um, and it's coming, um, this is funny, it's coming out of the blue, especially with this blue, the blue hermit. It's something that's coming out of the blue that I want to say is this exciting energy for you. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. Okay, beautiful. So the Six of Cups. This is coming through as a uh, play, playtime, playing. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for something exciting. You want to play. You're, you're wanting to play. So the underlining energy of your reading today is playtime. All right. So at the, on the bridge is the hangman. That's it. But then... <laughs> It's like wanting to play, but then not having playmates. That's interesting. So wanting to go outside, wanting to play, wanting to, you know, experience uh, something that that brings back good memories. But then, but then you meet the hanged man. So it's like having all of that energy inside of you, and then looking around and not finding something that you can express that with, someone that you can play with. It's like you're not finding someone that you can play with. That's interesting. Okay, so you're seeking a play partner. All right. And you can take that however you may. Let's see the overall energy for Leo. I just kind of exploded. It's the white buffalo and the gift. Everything is just exploding. Everything is exploding. <laughs> Six of wands, the sun. It's like you're exp you're wanting to explode with like this joy and exuberance and and taking like a new lease on life and and just exploring and playing and getting out there in the sunshine. But you're finding yourself in this <laughs> It's coming through as very boring. It's actually really peaceful, especially with the white buffalo that's here that's fallen, exploded on the ground. Um, I don't know what that is, but it's peaceful, but it's boring. It feels so boring. I feel bored. <laughs> so um, I don't even know what to think for the overall energy. <laughs> Let's get it. It feels like you're being held back from whatever this is 
but what's interesting here though is that in the four of pentacles as your overall energy it's actually you it's actually you who's holding you back from this releasing yourself from releasing yourself because the hanged man <clears throat> He has the ability to release himself. So it's like you're not releasing. It feels like you're in a state of boredom, but then you're you're not like doing what you need to do to help release yourself through playing, whatever that means. So it does look like there's someone that is coming or something that is coming. I'm not necessarily seeing it as a person, but there's something that is coming. It's coming out of the blue that's going to surprise you. And I think that it is going to help kind of change your perspective on where you find yourself. So we're starting your reading off with justice. And in the, in the Virgo reading, that's interesting because the hermit is the, is Virgo. So in the Virgo reading, this, this form of justice, it was coming through as multiple forms of justice. Virgo was experiencing this form of justice that was requiring them to be a little bit more flexible. Um, uh, and because they were being flexible, it was allowing justice, the things that you want, the things that you know that you deserve, right? Um, to come in in unconventional ways. So it's like you're sitting here bored. You're wondering what the next thing is for you. You have all of this like pent up energy, this reservoir that is just wanting to explode out of you, but you don't have someone to play with. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. You don't have someone to play with and you're wanting someone to play with. And justice is here to kind of, it's like, it's bringing you a message of stay open because what you, what you will be receiving as justice doesn't look it's like it's not going to fit the conventional bill of what you that's interesting i thought i knew that person i don't know they drove by my house anyways okay so it's not going to look like what you think it's going to look like it's it's an unconventional form so you it's like justice the universal energy of justice is trying to communicate to you that it's like you need to stay open to experiences because there's an experience that's going to come in that you might that you might have actually um, held back from. If it's almost like if this message wasn't to come to you, you you might have potentially held yourself back from it because it seems like it's something that you maybe. Um, well, it's not a part of your vision. It's not a part of your vision. You have an idea of what you want, especially with the artist. So you have an you have a vision. You have an idea of what you see as exciting, of what you see as something that will bring you that fulfillment. You know what I mean? Like that's gonna allow all of your pent up energy to be fully like expressed and like uh, externalized and experienced, right? So you have that vision, right? You have an idea of what is exciting to you. But the interesting thing is here is that it's not actually exciting you. It's not exciting you in the way that it used to. There's something along, something along those lines. And that's why you find yourself in a state of boredom. It's like the things that you previously saw as something that 
um, would tickle your fancy, if you will. It's just it's not working anymore. It's not working. And so you're sitting in a space where it's like you're going into daydream. It feels like a daydream. It feels like imagination. You're trying to access that same vision, the same daydream, if you will, that you used to play, right, in your mind. You used to play this in your mind, like a daydream. But it's not exciting you anymore. It's just boring. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> All right. That's what it is for you. It's like, it's like, because it is so boring, it's like it's increasing the frustration. It's increasing the energy that is, that's inside your body. Um, and so let's take this away. But okay, so we remember that there's a little bit of flexibility that is needed because your vision it's like your vision is changing. Your imagination, the things that you imagine, the things that you daydream about, your vision, the vision of your life, the vision of things that are exciting to you, it's it's wanting to change. It's wanting to change, but you're still holding on to like a previous to a previous, right? A previous vision with that 6 of cups talking about the past energy. You're still holding on to a previous vision of what was enticing for you right so there's something new and that's what this hermit is bringing you there's something new that is wanting to come in for you the hermit is bringing you this new way it's wanting to come through as a new way of playing a new way of playing is wanting to come in for you. So it's it looks as though you're in this imagination state. You're in this daydream. You're like trying to pull out any iota of excitement. <laughs> I don't like that. Because <laughs> it just feels like, I don't know, it kind of, it's giving me a little bit of like, um, like a desperation energy. And then that's what's building up to the frustration. So forget that old vision. Anyways, what's coming here is like as you are in that space, in that previous daydream, it's almost like there's someone or something or an idea. It could be an idea that's coming up from your subconscious because it's the hermit energy. It could be coming through as an actual person um, it could be a myriad of different things, but what's happening here is, is that they're coming in and they're, they're interrupting your vision. They're interrupting your, uh, what's coming through is like a plan. They're interrupting your plan. They're bringing you something different, which is, it's, it's not, that's interesting because it's actually what you're wanting. You're wanting something different. You're wanting something new and exciting, but you're not finding it. And what's happening here is that it's like it's being brought to you. What is she doing up there? I guess she's found something exciting. So the, it's, bring, it's being brought to you. And what I'm seeing is, is that as this hermit gets closer to you, it's like it's your daydream, your dream, your vision, all that stuff is being well it's it's breaking up it's breaking up your daydream it's breaking up your vision it's breaking up what your plans are it's breaking up your plans it's it's bringing in a new plan for you which is what the justice was you're wanting to receive justice right but this form of justice requires flexibility because in order for something that is new and different, something that is outside of the box, right? 
to come to you, you have to be open to it. You can't be, you can't hold on, right? That's that overall energy. The overall energy is holding on to a vision of the past. So it's wanting to, it's like it's wanting to come through and like sweep through all of that. I'm not saying it's necessarily going to like toss it away or anything, but it's definitely creating a clean slate. And a part of it is, a part of it is like bringing you back to reality. Because as these clouds disappear, as you kind of come into a state where you're not being surrounded by your dream, if you will. Oh, this tree here. This tree here gets shown to you. It's interesting. It, oh, it's coming. It's, it's coming in glimpses. So what I'm seeing here is like, it's like they're, they're coming to you with a new, a new idea, a new thing, a new way of playing, right? A new way of playing and it it's like it's passing through you and it clears a little bit of the clouds and then all of a sudden you okay that's what it is it's like you're you feel excited you're getting that feeling of excitement right and then you're wanting to add it to your vision so you're if you have like a vision board or something like that you add it to your vision board right um, it doesn't have to necessarily be but it's basically it's adding to your vision and then that it's like that energy passes by you right and then those clouds come up and you're you're daydreaming you find yourself bored again this one comes back through they clear away the clouds you see this that you see the thing in the background right and then you fervently i don't know you like excitedly write it all down and it's it's like it's happening multiple times and as it happens your it's like your vision is changing your vision of how you want to play is changing it's also it's it's almost like they're bringing you different ideas different things to do like the hermit, the hermit usually is kind of like a solo, usually like a soul. I always call them the solo adventurer. They're the ones that kind of just go out into the world and just, they, I mean, he's got his walking stick, right? So he's on adventure you know a lot of people say it's of the subconscious mind and things like an internal realm stuff like that but you know when you're on solo adventure you do you kind of do all of that you know introspection those types of things so they're bringing that to you you're seeking a partner that you can play with and it's like they're pat they're <laughs> you're seeking a partner that you want to play with and they're passing by you but it's almost like you're not seeing them. It's like you're not necessarily seeing them because you're still attached to the old vision of how you used to play. But as they continue to pass pass by you, kind of giving you new ideas, new ideas for adventure, um, new experiences that you might not necessarily know that you would enjoy some it's like it's like it comes out of the blue that's how you'll know it, it comes out of the blue and then it gets a little exciting for a second and then it's like now you're bored again uh that's how you're gonna know that whatever this is it's like an out of the blue type of thing so as it comes through you are faced with the seven of pentacles which is a reassessment reassessing your plan 
So they're causing you to reassess like what you see as exciting. What you see as something that you are willing to invest in. Whatever was in the past or whatever, you know, you... It's like if you were to do what your plan was or if you were to do what you used to do, when if if you were to get there and do that thing, whatever that thing may be, you're going to be bored. It's going to be boring. It's not exciting. <laughs> I don't know why that's being emphasized. But if you were to kind of follow what this it's like it's like a new vision a new vision is wanting to come in for you if you were to follow that new vision you're going to be well one you're going to have to reassess your plans whatever these plans are you're going to have to reassess them because there's a new plan there's a new plan coming in for you which is why you're required to be a little bit more flexible because it's like you you are resisting this change and when you're resisting the change you're also resisting the justice that could be coming in for you which is that new exciting playful energy so it's whatever this is is causing you to reassess your former plan and kind of like make a new one make a new plan there's a different plan that wants to come in for you. One that is exciting. One that is also fulfilling. One that is going to help release all of this pent up inner playful energy inside of you. Because it's, it's like it's storing. It's like it's storing inside of you and it needs to be released. Just like how all the cars just like exploded everywhere. <laughs> You're wanting to explode. So... <laughs> allow it to happen but you got to be open to it too okay leo <laughs> i don't know um i'm gonna go ahead if this resonated for you i'm gonna go ahead and pull some more cards uh you will see that link for the extended in the description box see you there bye